Hi Zushettes, I'm Kitty from Zushi and I'm going to show you how to draw a cartoon octopus from Animal Jam. This was a fan request so let's get started. So first up what we do is we draw a circle and then we just come down and draw a smaller circle just below it like that and then we join those two circles together with a couple of curved lines. It's always got kind of like a an odd shaped jelly bean in a way. And then from there we just take a line out and then bring it up like that and then bring it across bring it across and then down not as curved this time, a little bit straighter, and then down again. Then we just draw a line kind of across the top of that little circle. This is a guideline for the eyes. We draw another circle, and then just a smaller circle, a smaller circle next to that bigger circle. Then we just kind of shade in a little bit of that tip of the circle there to make it look like eyelashes. And then again on the side. And then we draw another circle. And then another circle. And then we draw another circle for a highlight. And that makes up the eyes. And again on the side, another circle for a highlight there. And then for the mouth, it's just a little curved line. Like that, with another little curved line there. And then we come down to kind of a deeper curved line. Then another curved line there. And then just another one across to show the teeth. Like that. And then from here what we do is we just bring, we're just going to make this a bit wider now that we've got that shape all sorted out. So we'll bring that down, that side down, and then kind of curve it in just under that smaller circle there. And then on the side, just kind of take it out from there and curve it round like that. And then again we just come across, curve it over. So I'm just going to start working on the legs now. So curve that line over and it kind of comes around like that. And then it kind of comes back up again and then down and back to meet that little circle. And then there's another little line here, and a little circle there just to show some texture. And then again we just bring a little line down, curve it, curve it across and then up, and then around, and kind of flatten off the curve slightly and bring it up. And then across and then back back down again and we're going to go round again like that and then down and across so there's lots of kind of curving of lines happening with the tentacles and the legs then we bring another line across like that. Then we just draw two ovals in there for some texture. Then we take that little circle again and we're just going to take a line down and kind of curve it. 
So coming down and then bring it around and across and up. Then again here. Around and down and then join on to that one. Like that. Then we just bring another line across the bottom. Like that. And then we're just gonna bump out a couple of ovals to add some texture. We're going to go back to this leg, so we're going to bring that down as well and around, flatten it off slightly and then up and then back down and around. I'm just going to go behind that leg there and just curve that. Then we add a little line there with a little oval for texture. And then we're just going to curve a line around on this side, like that. And then just kind of follow through behind that leg and do a little curve down, like that. And then back up and then follow behind that leg just add a little line there in between so this leg's going behind those two and then we're going to take another leg or tentacle out the side so we're just going to curve another line around like that and then up almost like a wave shape this one and then down and kind of flatten it off there And then bring another line down to meet to meet it like that. We just take a little line across and add a, an, o, an oval for some texture. And then we bring another line down and across and up. And then again we're going to add some ovals in there for some texture. We just got we have just one more leg to do so we're going to bring it down from there and curve it out and down and around and up and then bring it back up Going back up here, like that. Then we we'll just grab our black pens and go back in and ink in the pencil lines.
Then we just go back in and double up the thickness of the main parts of the illustration to make it look even more cartoony.
Then we just wait for the ink to dry. Then we just go back in and rub out the pencil lines. So there you have it, a cartoon octopus from Animal Jam done in a Zushi style. Happy drawing!